Now fire bat again. You know what I'm surprised? No one is complaining that there is that, that these robots are using guns, even though it's the Sonic game. But I'm boom. Since they freaked out, the thing is, I think that Shadow the Hedgehog did have its problems, and it was one of the lesser good of the, of the 3D Sonic games. But I don't think it's because of the fact that it had guns. I think it's because it had it had some pretty broken gameplay. Had they, I mean, like the. <clears throat> Everything felt slow-paced. I mean, sure, there was a cool few speed models, but it felt slow-paced. Anyway, here's another metal. We're gonna win it, win it some... And I forgot. Anyway, let's see. And behold! This this pillar of ice has gotten a boner from viewing ice porn. And here's a record. Anyway, we need to... And we need to... And to get rid of it, we must burn the, the ice porn magazines. So bad, porn magazines. And now, Werehog is now a castrator, I guess. That had to hurt. And the Werehog is potentially a faggot now. Well, that's another thing that bugs me. Everyone seems to think Sonic is gay for some reason. I don't get that. It's just, it's just, it's just the annoying fanboys and fangirls that want to pair him up with weird couples. It's almost... In, I mean, I thought Son Amy was probably the worst couple I'd seen ever because I don't... I really think that people are just... That fanboys are just thinking that, that they have to be in love when they don't. It's just... It's because it's just Amy. You won't, you're look, they're only looking through Amy's perspective is the thing. They're not looking through Sonic's. Because he just likes her as a friend, but she, but he's aware that she is obsessed with him. Anyway, here's a video thing. Yeah, it gets really annoying. Sun Metal. That's that's probably the main reason why people were starting to accuse Sonic Next Gen of promoting bestiality. It's not because, I mean, how you think that's with? I mean, please. In Sonic X, Tails fell in love with a rose. So be and if that's not, and if that's and that's even weirder in my opinion, since they're not even the same kingdom. Um, Oh yeah, a really annoying glitch happened at the end of the stage that made me think I had to kill myself. And then I wouldn't have had to get an S rank, but luckily I still managed to kill the to kill him. And I got myself an S rank. Burn, burn, I say burn. Yeah, I thought I was going to get lit on fire there for a minute. And another thing that really annoys me is that a lot of people will let the Werehog ruin it for them. I mean, did you know that even though I actually like the Werehog right now, I do like that gameplay? When I first saw it in D3, it looked boring as crap. Now, that's for a few reasons, probably. Because they start over in the middle, right near the end of the level. And then one of the things, and also, there was no... To, and also, the thing is that a brawler is probably less interesting to watch than a speed thing. It's, it's not that it's not fun to play, it's just to be a spectator is not as interesting. Also, I wanted to see the Spagonia stage, because I saw that in the demo for a list of stages, and I was like, I want to see that! But I never saw any footage of that, until, except for the one trailer, and, it's, it's, and I now understand why. They're hiding their best stage from us. Okay, let's see. 
So, uh, yeah. But, even then, when I thought the warehouse was gonna suck, I'm like, was gonna, was it that, wasn't that good? I was like, oh well, I guess. Oh, I'll just, I'll just get past those stages and then just, I'll just, I'll just get past those stages once. And then, I'll, and then I'll just redo the maze and stages over and over again for fun. Anyway, so let's see, then Chip, so yeah, Chip's pointing out the obvious again. These icicles remind me of the platforming in Sonic Adventure 1, where Sonic had to jump off the icicles, otherwise it slipped before he slips off. Except instead, you'll pull down the icicle this time. It's your, we're taking revenge for what they did to, for, make, for nearly for playing with Sonic. But here we are. Uh, it's a videotape, an easy one to get to. And that one was actually in the, that videotape was in the trailer. And there's the tenth sun medal, so we got a, we got all the sun medals, and we are missing one moon medal. I think we're missing one. Oh, uh, no, wait, we're not missing one. We're, we're missing two. And also, if you look down, you also see a videotape down there that Floating One always missed. And we also missed that one with that last art book. But I'm not saying I'm not whining about that because I know he said he's a metal guy. Even though he was, you know, I do. I'm not complaining that he showed some of the locations either because he, he, like I said, he helped me find the last rec the last record. All right, now then, let's see. We got a healer. I hate these things so much. You know, for a place that has uh, no Titan or Big Mother, you do get a lot of EXP here if you, if you collect it, if you, if you run for it. But you probably get as much as you got in Windmill Isle Act 1 night. Before we get back up there, though. Another video tape. Yeah, like I said, lots of collectibles in the stage, just like Spagonia. These ones are may, may not be as obvious, although except for that one video tape. Starfish Smackdown. Now, we check back here, even though we don't need to. <clears throat> just in case we miss any collectibles. Yeah! <laughs> 